So this video is about how to make strength gains in the gym. Lately, I feel like I have improved my strength in all of my movements, my gym movements, especially after having plateau for a few months. And now I feel like I have quite figured out my way and that's why I want to share that with you. And in addition to that, I also made some scientific research. So. If you're interested in checking out the evidence, then you, I will link that down below so that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that you know that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to this. The first point is to go to the three to five max rep range. At first, I was just stuck on the eight to 12 rep range. I was scared of going below that and of course, that means hitting even heavier because I was scared that I would bulk up like a man and mostly people say that 8 to 12 rep is like the optimum range for bodybuilding. It's the optimum range for building muscles. But actually, as I look further into the research, it says that if you do the powerlifting style, which is around 3 to 5 rep max range, then you're not only building up the strength, you can also build muscle at that range. So that's what made me do that. And not just that, I wanted to challenge myself, just push myself and see where it goes. And being able to lift that heavy within that three to five rep max is so rewarding. And especially as I have to get around the live curveball, when life gets tough on me, then the feeling of being able to do it just makes me feel like a superwoman and that's what made me keep doing it more. So first thing I would advise you if you just started out fitness is that maybe you build up your confidence with that 8 to 12 rep max and gradually climb up into the 3 to 5 rep max range and remember to have enough rest in between strength between the sets you so you have enough strength to do it even do it your maximum at the next set and I'm just not I'm not just saying that you should always do the powerlifting style so what I would do is that first of all I would try those strength movements like low reps and heavy weight and in addition to that I would combine with the 8 to 12 rep ranges which is the moderate range at the toward the end of the workout just to isolate my muscles and I feel like that is what has improved my strength as well as my mass uh, muscle building. And the second thing I feel is really important to talk about is the form. I feel like my I feel that my deadlifts dramatically improved after changing my grip form. At first I was just holding like this but later I changed it from the up to the down movement and that helps me to have a firm grip over the bar. And not just that, about how I place my feet, how even in the squats, how I place my feet, the stands that I have, everything is just so important. and. That's why I also feel that different people have different sort of forms. So you won't necessarily have the same, exactly the same form as somebody else. Maybe what works for you does not work for somebody else. And that's why it's good to figure out what your correct form is and to build up on that form. And the third one I want to mention is nutrition. Nutrition is so important. I used to believe that just protein, you know, eating a lot of protein post-workout would be helpful for me as well. But actually eating enough carbs, especially 50 to 70% of your daily carb consumption should be around the time of your workout. It can be 
before the workout or it could be after the workout. Right now I'm like doing a fasted type of training so I don't necessarily have carbs before but it's important that you have both protein and carbs plenty of them after the workout so that it'll be good for the recovery and maintenance of the muscles and so you can also build up the strength because of that and regarding food intake the other point i found on the internet was that creatine is really important i have never actually taken supplements i mean as part from the vitamin supplements of course but i don't take supplements for to improve my strength or anything but so i can't actually give advice on that but I think somehow you know enough evidence need to be done on that too but I don't but I would just stick to the basic nutrients and the fourth point I feel is really really important is water um, after consuming a lot of water I feel a lot more energy not just during the workout but also even outside of the gym I feel a lot more vibrant my skin is even more clear and everything is just so refreshed so I used to underestimate I used to drink just water just once in the morning and a little bit sits around the meals but after drinking them a lot um, my strength I feel that my strength also has dramatically improved and the fit tip is sleep even though there are research articles saying that sleep impact sleep has not that much impact on the muscle hypertrophy I personally feel that sleep has a lot of impact on me I need to add sleep at least seven to eight hours per day um, but different people may have different needs for sleep and so it's just that you you are having the optimum number of hours of sleep that you should be having and so that sleep is really important when I was stressed during the time of the finals I barely had the energy to push through my workout and so I think stress in sleep related the hormones can also affect your strength in the gym and last but not least I want to say that you should keep doing it most people think that in order to improve in order to improve your strength or make more gains then you need to be doing a variety of squats a variety of lunges but actually as you work more on the compound movement you're also improving the form like if you want to improve your squats then you should be squatting more you know you just don't do that by it just does not magically happen by doing other leg exercises but i feel that if you want to work on something then it's really important to focus on that and see the difference even even adding a five pound plate could make a difference to your strength level anyways these are six tips that i think is really important for you it has worked for me as well and i hope it works for you as well now the last but most special part is some advice from my friends who are even more experienced than me in weightlifting and I ask them some advice and this is what they say. I think the most important part of putting on strength in the gym is um, making sure that throughout your entire workout you're focused on what your end goal is and what you want um, your own end product to look like because if you lose that focus um, then your workouts just aren't going to be the same and uh, you're not going to get the same amount of uh, production in the gym as uh, if you were to just keep that focus throughout your entire workout. Hi guys, so I just got back from the gym and I'm here to share a few tips about gaining strength. The first is to make sure you're eating enough good food. Your body needs fuel to run. Food gives you energy for your workouts, for everyday activities, and for post-workout when you need to rebuild the muscles that you just shredded. So make sure you're eating enough food. Two, you need to give your body rest. A lot of people have workout splits that they do each week. Sometimes your muscles are too tired to fulfill the workout, so give it rest. I actually find that I have the best workouts after I've given my body some rest because it's had time to fully recover. Thanks! Mm -hmm.